everyone, my name is Lai and welcome back to my channel. So, kas magagawa ko na itong video na ito. I will share with you my YouTube journey. Kailan ako nagsimula, gaano katagal bago ako nagkaroon ng ads, pati yung um, kailan and magkano ang first YouTube swelo ko. So, as early as na, I will show you my first YouTube swelo. Pero mamaya ko nalang i-reveal kung magkano. And I will share with you yung ano muna, yung paano ako nagsimula. So, I uploaded my first YouTube video February 2019. That's like around one year ago kasi March 2020 na ngayon. And if you're new to this, take note, Hana. When you create a YouTube channel, tapos you upload videos, hindi agad-agad na may ads kayo. So, kapag wala pang ads yung videos nyo, walang, 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 wala kayong pera na matatanggap. You have to wait until magkakaroon ng ads yung videos nyo. And Google AdSense will be the one to decide. And para maging eligible kayo, you need to get... 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. So those are your requirements. In my case, na nakaroon ako ng 1,000 subscribers exactly eight months after I uploaded my first video. That's October 2019. By the way, if you need tips or uh, gusto niyo malaman kung paano ko paano ako ng 1,000 subscribers within eight months, kumuha na ako ng video, nag share ako ng tips. I will link the video right here or mahanap niyo din sa description box. Just Check it right there below. And so yon, eight months after I uploaded my first video, I got 1,000 subscribers. And two weeks after that, so that was uh, November 2019, I got the yung requirement na 4,000 watch hours. So, uh, pati yan, I ko din ng video. Just click uh, the link right here or check the description box if you need tips kung paano nyo makuha yung requirements or paano nyo ma-meet yung requirements in less than a year. I-share ko lahat ng nalalaman ko. Anyway, back to the topic. Now that nakuha ko na yung requirements around November 3, 2019, ganito yung nakikita ko sa Google AdSense ko na homepage. I will show you a photo or a video if I can find it right here. Tapos, uh, bale, nire-review na pala ni Google uh, yung account ko, kung eligible na ba talaga ako, kung totoong na-meet ko yung requirements. So, naghintay lang ako. That was November 3. Tapos, two days after, naka-receive ako ng email. Ipapakita ko din sa inyo yung notification or yung email. November 5, sabi ni Google na na-approve na ako. Nilalagyan na nila ng ads yung videos ko automatically. Pag-gising ko, dun ko lang agad na basa yung email na. Tapos na pala yung review process. So, it only took two days. Tapos, approve na kaagad ako. Um, my ads na videos ko and I am already monetizing. So, ayun na, my ads na tayo. Now, the question is, my YouTube swelo na makagad? The answer is no. So, if you are in the same situation as me, yung parang hindi nyo alam kung anong kasunod, and what's next, kailan, anong gagawin, uh, just keep on watching kasi I will take you through every every step, as in step by step talaga, lahat ng mga threshold, lahat ng mga verification, lahat ng mga ipapadala or whatever, para dumating tayo sa point na makukuha na talaga natin yung pera natin. So, November 5, may ads na yung mga videos ko. Kailangan panoorin ng mga tao yung mga ads sa lahat ng videos mo, new and old, para umabot ka sa 10 to 100 dollars. So, bakit ko sinabing 10 to 100 dollars? Because 10 dollars is the verification threshold and 100 dollars is the payment threshold. Uh, unfortunately, Definitely, lahat ng mga views mo before no in my case ha before November five so de ba sabi ko February yung first video ko pinanood siya ng mga tao de ba meron ako mga good videos meron din ako mga videos na wala na masyadong nanood pero yung mga good videos ko mga ilan na ba 5,000 10,000 views it's worth nothing walang pera because walang pera from those videos because wala namang ads yung videos na yon so yung ika count ng adsense is yung mga nanonood yung mga nanonood ng ads mo from November 5 onwards so it's very important to create more good videos at this point kasi yun lang yung basis kung magkano yung isiswelo ng YouTube sa inyo. Yung mga taong nanood ng ads mo from November 5 onwards. Now, I will go into specifics. Number one talaga is yung verification threshold. Ito yung hindi ko masyadong naririnig or nababasa uh, online or hindi walang nagturo sa akin about this and dito kasi ako talagang na-confuse. Verification threshold means dapat ma-reach mo yung $10 na revenue. So, kailangan mong i-check using, for example, your YouTube Studio app or yung Google AdSense account mo mismo sa computer if umabot na sa $10 yung revenue mo. Because that is the only time that they will send you this verification 
application pin via snail mail. So, kapag hindi mo pa na-reach yung $10, hindi talaga sila magkakaroon ng go-signal na, sige, padalhan na natin si Lai. No, they will just keep waiting for your account to reach $10. Share ko lang sa experience ko na medyo nalito ako because uh, yung ginagamit ko talaga na pang-check is yung YT Studio na app which is nandun sa cellphone. Tapos, iba siya. Yung nakalagay dun is yung revenue ko nasa $12 to $15 na or $16, something like that. Pero whenever I check my Google AdSense account, kasi dun mo kasi nalalaman kung nagpadala na ba sila ng letter, nagpadala na ba sila ng pin. Nalilito ako at that time kasi nakikita ko $16 na o sige. So, ayan na. Um, lapas na tayo sa $10. Dapat may mail na napaparating. Pero when I go to Google AdSense, $0 pa siya. Nalito ako that time and I cannot find very many answers online. So, I'm going to share it with you if you're also encountering the same problem. Yung nangyari pala is, yung Google AdSense na revenue is it only updates every 12th to 15th of the month. So, yung ano kasi, yung time na yun is around November 20, November 25. So, hindi talaga siya nag-update na na nasa $16 na pala yung revenue ko. In the YT Studio app, almost daily kasi siya nag-update. As in, grabe, napakabilis mag-update. But the Google AdSense na account mo, you can only check it, by the way, sa desktop or like computer, ganun. So, $0 pa siya doon. So, yung ginawa ko is that I just checked back mga December 12, December 13, ganun. Hinintay ko lang kasi may schedule pala, pala siya. And at exactly December 16, dun pa lang siya nag-update na nasa $17 na ako, meaning okay na tayo sa verification threshold and that was the time na sinabihan ako sa Google Google AdSense na homepage na paparating na yung pin ko. May go signal na sila. Sinend na nila kaagad sa address na pinrovide ko yung envelope na may verification pin. Okay, so okay na tayo sa verification threshold. na na natin yung $10 and pinandala na nila yung uh, verification pin. Tapos hintayin ko na lang siya. Yung nakalagay sa homepage ng AdSense ko is your payments are currently on hold because you have not verified your address. So, yung envelope na yun, yun yung um, gagamitin ko para i-verify yung address ko. Sabi, it will take 2 to 4 weeks kasi galing yun sa ibang bansa. Galing sa US, galing sa Singapore, something like that. In my case, galing siya sa Singapore. So, hinintay ko lang siya. It's via snail mail. So, isang mailman, postman yung magdadala sa ano ko. Sa, hindi siya email, ba? So, kailangan ko talaga siyang hintayin. Yung tip ko lang at this point is, you create more content as in, upload lang na upload ng video. Huwag siyang, don't be very impatient. Huwag kayong hintay ng hintay kasi it really takes a very long time. Hindi ko alam bakit. Dito talaga medyo nasa stock yung mga YouTubers, especially yung mga newbie na parang hindi na dumarating. Pero all you have to do really is wait. Two to four weeks. So, in my case, December 16, December 16 nila sinabi na pinadala na nila. So, inisip ko na lang na January 16 ko na lang siya hahanapin or i-check kung dumating na ba sa address na pinrovide ko. And one tip nga pala is to provide a good address, yung complete address. Yung address na dun nyo talaga nare-receive yung mga important mail, yung mga bills, yung mga electricity bills, yung mga Shopee Lazada. If yung address nyo is hindi nahihirapan yung delivery man or yung kartero sa paghahanap, then that's the address that you should be providing. Or pwede nyo ding i-provide yung address ng pinagtatrabuhuan nyo. For example, if you work in a hospital, at least parang sure na sure talaga sila na uh, alam nila kung saan yung hospital. Ako, in my case, I provided my business address kasi dun naman talaga pumunta yung mga PLDT, yung mga GLOW, yung mga ganun mga klaseng bills. So, sure ako na hindi sila ma, ma, ano, mawawala or malilito. So, if after 4 or 5 weeks hindi nyo pa din na-receive, pwede kayong mag-request uh, mag ng bagong PIN. Up to 3 times kayo pwede mag-request ng bagong PIN. Tapos, kung wala talaga kayong matanggap na PIN, yung envelope via, via snail mail, pwede kayong uh, mag-verify na lang online. So, there is like a process like mag-send kayo ng ID, something like that. Pero hindi ako, I wasn't able to reach that point kasi January 27, natanggap ko na yung mail. Tapos, ganito siya. I will show you. Ganito siya. Tungtuwa ako when I received this. In fact, um, pinost ko to sa IG stories ko when I received it kasi I wanted to thank my subscribers, everybody who supports me kasi yun na nga, after less than a year natanggap ko na yung ganito ko, it means na it means na magsisimula na tayong um, magkaroon ng YouTube sweldo. So, ganito siya. Wala naman siyang paper. Meron lang siyang ano, meron lang siyang mga sulat sa loob. Nakikita nyo ba? Wala siyang papel. It's a very simple piece of document. Pero itong, 
itong kinocover ko dito, dito nakalagay yung pin. And yun yung EEN code natin sa Google AdSense na account natin para ma-verify yung address. It means lang naman na tao tayo, totoo tayong tao, meron tayong bahay, hindi tayo robot, ganun. Yun lang naman yung purpose ng verification pin na ito. So ngayon, verified na tayo, pero, ayun na naman, may pero na naman, no? Hindi pa din natin makukuha kaagad yung pera natin because there is yung minansyon ko kanina na payment threshold. The payment threshold is $100, meaning hindi i-release ni Google yung pera mo, yung revenue mo, kung hindi pa to umaabot ng $100. I don't know about you guys, pero ako nahirapan talaga ako ma-reach yung $100 threshold. As in, at that point, di ba November 5, meron na akong ads sa videos ko. All of my videos already had ads. Tapos, January 27, nung vinarify ko yung account ko, um... I already had 70 videos, 70 plus videos, pero yung revenue ko was only $51.79. So, halfway pa siya, layo-layo ko pa sa $100. Tapos, na-stress ako kasi gusto ko sana na by February, meron na akong YouTube sweldo, pero it did not happen. At this point, I got really confused again kasi di ba sinabi ko na yung sa Google AdSense na account talaga, if you open it on your computer, every 12 to 15th lang sila nag-update. So, sa so YT Studio app ko, umabot na sana ako ng $100 dollars around February 12. Per February 12, chine ko dun sa computer Google AdSense. Wala pa na sa 90 dollars pa siya. So na na stress talaga ako. Tapos the uh, the the sad thing is. Yun lang talaga yung update niya. Once a month lang talaga. So, yung next update niya is March 12 pa. So, that means na for the month of February, hindi pa ako umabot sa $100 threshold. Hindi pa ako nakakuha ng YouTube sweldo. Kahit sa YT app, YT Studio app is up, um, naging $100 na siya, $101, something like that. Eh, hindi pa kasi, medyo late, medyo behind ng konti yung Google AdSense. So, wala. Hindi ako nakakuha ng sweldo. And if you're encountering the same problem, just wait na lang. Kasi hindi naman siya nawawala. Nag-a-accumulate lang siya. As what I've said, parang late lang ng konti si Google AdSense. So, all you have to do is check back on March 12 na ulit. Kung wala pa sa March 12, mga 13, 14, ganun. Kasi Philippines kasi tayo, so medyo delayed. But it is going to come. Hindi siya mawawala. March 13, siya na ko na ulit sa computer sa Google AdSense account ko kung magkana na yung revenue na naka-update ano, naka doon. And yun, lumpas na talaga tayo at last ng $100. Pero, I don't know, pero, hindi siya agad-agad nakukuha. Yung update nila is 12 to 15th, di ba? That's the only time that they will update your Google AdSense revenue. Tapos, yung payout nila, meaning yung time, para may schedule sila sa whole world talaga, kahit saan kami sa mundo, yung payout talaga nila, nilalabas lang nila yung pera every 21st of the month. So, that was March 13. Kailangan kong hintayin yung March 21 bago ko makuha yung pera. Uh, by the way, yung, yung pinili ko na payment option is Western Union. Madami namang ibang payment options pero mas prefer ko yung Western Union kasi hindi ko na siya i-go-connect sa bank or sa PayPal or something. Ano ba yun? Hindi, hindi ako, hindi ako masyadong familiar sa ibang mga payment options pero Western Union na lang kasi mas madaming branch and mas co converted na siya direct. Pwede nyo siyang ipa-convert direct siya into peso. So that's what I did. Hinitay ko na lang yung March 21 and while waiting, uh, wala ka naman talaga magagawa. Uh, you can just keep on creating content, uploading videos para for a April na naman as well, though. And also, just prepare government-issued ID. Yung dinala ko is my driver's license. Finally, dumating na si March 21. Tapos, chinek ko kaagad yung AdSense ko. Wala namang nagbago. Ganito yung screen, by the way, kung naghihintay kayo ng payment. Tapos, wala. Walang nagbago. Sa email ko, wala din. So, just wait. Just be patient. March 22, chinek ko na naman ulit. So, ayun na. Meron na ako nakitang clickable link about about my payout. Tapos, kinlik ko yon. Tapos, nakita ko yung parang isang na siyang papel na, na nasa computer na merong MTCN. MTCN is yung number na isusulat mo sa Western Union outlet para maklaim mo yung pera na pindala sa'yo ni Google. Yun lang naman. It's very easy. Just... Just make sure na may ID ka. Isa lang. Isa lang yung dinala ko. Pero I heard na kapag ma malaki yung amount na kukunin mo, like 100,000 or like that's 1,000 US dollars or 100,000 pesos, mga ganun. I think you need two valid IDs. Pero sa akin, konti lang naman siya. So I just provided one valid ID, which is my government, uh, my driver's license. Tapos yung, well, mas better na you take a photo of the of the MTCN kasi nandun yun yung sender's name yung, yung name mo na ini register mo doon tsaka yung parang 
MTC, yan yun talaga yung pinaka-importante. Tapos, kung magtatanong kung ano yung relationship mo sa sender, yung sinulat ko lang is advertiser. Tapos, kinlarify ni ate, sabi ko, online advertiser, parang online ads, ganun. Magigets naman nila yun. Doon ko na lang din pinaconvert yung, kasi yung natanggap ko is dollars. So, doon ko na lang din pinaconvert sila na lang yung um, nag-change to peso para hindi ko na siya para hindi na ako maghahanap ng money changer. So, eto na. This is the exact amount na na-receive ko as my first YouTube sweldo. This is $131.27. Eto na siya. In peso, it's 6,504 pesos. Yay! 6,5. Tapos limang piso. Asa na yung limang piso? Basta nandun siya. So, this is my first YouTube sweldo. Alam nyo, ilang months ko na tong hinihintay. And I'm just so happy to be actually holding this YouTube sweldo. Of course, nagpapasalamat ako sa inyo for subscribing to my channel, for supporting my videos, for not skipping the ads, and for like, alam nyo yung mga notification squad ko. As in talaga, kahit whether or not meron akong giveaways, I really appreciate na nandyan kayo kaagad when I upload anything. Kahit minsan walang kwenta yung videos ko, nandyan kayo kaagad. I'm very, very happy talaga and this is all because of you. And I hope that I am also inspiring some of you guys if ina-aspire nyo maging YouTuber din like me. Although ako, hindi ko naman talaga matatawag yung sarili ko na parang official na talaga na YouTuber. Para sa akin, I'm still a small YouTuber. Pero, everyday I'm learning. Everyday I'm trying. Medyo busy lang. Ngayon, nasa, we are in the middle of a COVID-19 crisis. Pero, isn't it all the more reason na mag-try tayong maging YouTuber if we really want to. Kasi, this is passive income. This is gaining money even if hindi tayo lumalabas ng bahay. So, if um, nagdalawang isip kayo, try lang talaga because tutulungan ko kayo and this is an example na meron talaga hard work pays off. As in, it will really magbubunga din ng hard work nating lahat. But it's not a walk in the park. Apparently, hindi ako kasing galing ni Jamil or ni, ni Mimiya that they're, I'm not as good as them na, di ba, parang they just uploaded ilang videos tapos parang nag-boom ka agad sila. Ako, I'm at, already at 70, 80 videos. Pero, ito pa lang, nasa $131 pa lang tayo. But I'm still so grateful. I'm just saying na medyo matagal siya. That was November 5, the first day na meron ng ads yung videos ko. Tapos, at March 21, so, November to March, $131 lang yung kinita ko from YouTube. So, it's not easy, pero it's very, very worth it. Uh, what I'm saying lang din is, hindi pa siya, I'm not bragging, I'm not, hindi ako, hindi ko pinagmamayabang yung $131 ko. Kasi, I'm treating YouTube as a business na din. Inisip ko na negosyo yung YouTube. When I started, sabi ko, gusto ko talagang mag-grow kagad. So, uh, naglabas ako ng pera, I invested on a tripod, on a ring light, on a microphone, bumili ako ng makeup, ng mga skincare products, tapos nagpag-giveaway ako. Sa akin yun eh, akin yung pera na I used my money for the shipping fee, for the products. Minsan, I get a collab with other brands. Minsan, I get sponsored items, yung mga ganon. Pero meron ding mga ako talaga yung gumastos, like the sunny space, yung mga makeup. Most of those giveaways, ako yung gumastos. So, it's just like any other business, you invest at first, tapos hintayin mo mag-return yung investment mo. Parang bumabawi pala ako sa lahat ng pera na ginastos ko last year to establish this channel. And now, this is my first payout from YouTube. So parang hindi ko pa siya tinuturing na profit, but I'm very happy na dito na siya. Medyo nababawi ko na yung pera na ginastos ko for the ring light. Medyo mahal din yun eh, yung mga microphone, ganun-ganun. Hindi pa nga ako nakaka-upgrade ng camera, but we'll get there. I'm very inspired. Parang nangatong-tua ako kasi totoo pa lang nakakakuha tayo ng pera from YouTube. Currently, I'm working on more content. Para sa akin talaga yung advice ko sa inyo is work on really, really good content. Yung mga viral, yung mga ganun. Kung walang kwenta yung videos nyo, pwede nyo namang i-upload. Ako, nag-upload din ako ng mga walang kwentang videos. Pero from time to time, pinag-iisipan ko talaga yung videos ko. Kasi, sayang kasi yung effort natin na nag-upload tayo tapos hindi pala siya nag-convert into money. Minsan, okay na naman kasi, di ba, parang pastime to ng iba. Pero minsan din, naisip ko na if it is going to convert into money, why not? 
Especially, once again, in times like this, nasa COVID-19 crisis tayo, wala kaming trabaho, kami ng husband ko, wala kaming trabaho, nandito lang kami sa bahay. So, why not think of good videos para mag-convert siya into dollars, tapos makukuha ko na siya next month. Ganon. Kasi right now, I'm really working on new uploads kasi hindi na naman ako maabot sa $100 threshold. Tapos sabi ko, diba, sa April 12, mag-update yung AdSense ko. Uh, wala pa, layo pa natin sa $100. So, kung by April 12, wala pa tayong $100, Wala na naman tayong pera for April, so May na naman yung next update ng AdSense. Yung goal ko sana is every month, meron tayong kahit $100 lang. So let's really try and upload, think of good content, para tuloy-tuloy na, diba? So that's it, thank you very much for watching this video. Ang haba na naman ng kwenta ko, pero I just really wanted to be very specific. Yung mga tanong na hindi masyadong na-address sa ibang mga videos, kasi uh, sometimes your hardships are not the hardships of the other YouTubers. So ako, parang tinry ko na maging super duper kumpleto nito. When I was in your position months ago, ang daming tanong, tapos when I search on YouTube, wala. Walang Tagalog YouTuber na nag-e-explain kung paano tong ganito, kailan, gano'ng katagal, bakit hindi nag, bakit iba yung itsura ng AdSense ko sa AdSense mo, bakit walang message, bakit, di ba, ang daming mga bakit, tapos hindi natin masyadong matanong yung mga medyo sikat na na YouTubers kasi they're too busy to answer our questions. So if you have questions, just let me know, comment it below. try ko talaga ang answer, i-answer lahat ng questions nyo because I've been there, I've been in your shoes. Ang hirap talaga. It's better kung meron kayong friend na mapagtanungan. If you appreciate this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel then for support. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you're gonna continue with your YouTube journey. Kaya nyo yan. Medyo mahirap pero kaya nyo yan. And I will be here to support you. Good luck and see you on my next video.